Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am joined with the amazing Lauren Booth. Astaghfirullah. <laughs> yeah, well, I was I was thinking about my introduction. I thought oh I cannot call her amazing because she's going to say astaghfirullah. <laughs> and then I did it. Astaghfirullah. <laughs> why, why, why? We've even been talking about I this. Know, throw we something, throw this. soil in my face. Okay, the awful, awful Lauren Booth. Alhamdulillah, true. Astaghfirullah. <laughs> but something I can compliment is your course. Mm, yes. Thank you very much. Should we tell people about that? Is it a secret? No, no, it's definitely not not a secret. And the thing I'm committed to is to sharing what I know of, of TV work, mm. walking into a room, interview techniques as a Muslim. Now, you, you know, well, why is that so different? Because we can bring our negative expectations into the room with us, and that's a mm. mistake. Most people if you're going for a university interview and you've got a beard or you've got a hijab on, the courses I offered is uh, on prophetic manners in the public space mm. because I don't want our young Muslims to be backfooted with their skills because we have the brightest, we have the best, we have lovely manners in our ummah, we have great skills to offer and I want you to know that you, you're the best um, when you go into those interviews. So I've created something called Find Your Voice based on my experience and you can find it on Teachable and because you've invited me on I'm going to post a special voucher coupon below so you can come on board and just press the coupon and you'll find out all about the course. It's six parts. I'll be your trainer. I'll see you there inshallah. So today we're going to talk about juggling technology as a Muslim. And I really wanted to have this discussion for a long time. It's something that affects our ummah so much. And it's affected me. Has it affected you as well? Sort of About te with. technology, we all have our, our battles. Exactly. It, it across, and it's across the age groups as well, right? So I'm in my 50s, you're in your 20s. Yeah. Somebody at, at nine is having a di very different reality. But for all of us, yes. It's a big issue. And I think it's something we need to discuss. And it's something that we need to be aware of because we need to practice sort of mindful usage. And I think that's something I want to promote is mindful usage in the sense of being aware of what you're doing and how it's affecting you. It's kind of like food for your brain, you know, what we're seeing, what we're hearing. So how is it affecting our brains? How is it affecting the way we think? I want to I wanna start with this. What is the biggest problem we think we face today with technology? The problem we face with technology today is having a phone in our hands all the time. And it's like it's glued. <laughs> it's like this even when you put it down it's like oh i need it for something yes, yes. it's like it's on you know it's like on a, on a piece of, of string mm -hmm. that's you know so um I'll t we can talk in a minute about my coping strategies i know you have yours and perhaps if you please share your coping strategies out there because we're all helping each other in this but I imagine you know i didn't even have an iphone until i was like in my 40s you know which is like god all of those 20 wow. 30 40 years of freedom and it still got me it yeah. got me uh, to the to the extent where you look at that time and it's like thirteen hours, you know, today or seven hours a day, and it's like, how yeah. did that happen? Yeah, and then you go into denial or you switch off the the, the app on the iPhone that tells you. Yeah, it's like yeah, <laughs> that's like just delete. Like I, I, my, my thing was I'd always say, oh, it's Waze, it's Google Maps, Google Maps. Oh yeah, yeah. Really, yeah, yeah. you know, four hours a day on Google Maps. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think yeah, it yeah. was. Yeah, yeah. And they even breaks it down. You're like, I'm ignoring that. Yeah, yeah. Because you you can't cope with the reality of it. Um, there's the app use. There's the uh, okay. Well, I use it for my work. Okay, yeah. I use it for editing videos. What when you see me on my phone, um, I might be speaking to my mum. Yeah. Um, you know, or my sister. Yeah. So that it's a useful thing. Definitely, it yeah. can be. Yeah. It can be a useful be thing. Useful. So, we, so uh, you know, are we making presumptions about the misuse of it? Mm. When does it tip into to danger zone? You know, without a doubt, the last five years, it's this doom scrolling. Yeah, definitely. It's it's the social media apps. Yeah, it's bottomless scrolling. There's no bottomless, end to it. There's no end to it, and yeah. there's no purpose to it. Yeah, yeah exactly. And you don't know what you're looking for. Yeah, yeah That's yeah. when I get really scared. Definitely. It's like you start off with, uh, okay, I've got to set a timer. Okay, I've got yeah. to set a timer for fifteen minutes. I'm doing some cooking, and then oh, oh but then yeah, yeah. something's on YouTube, and then hour that later. YouTube takes me, and then an hour has gone. Yeah, yeah. That 
doesn't that leave a depressing kind of sick i feel quite nauseated feeling definitely and mm. it's really scary because you don't always get to well you don't get to choose what you're going to see unless you're doing mindful usage and you're picking what you're going to see most of the time we're recommended things we see things we don't want to see it's like you're pretty much giving shaitan permission to just show you whatever he wants to show you yeah and you can be seeing things that can affect you and little by little you end up watching things that you wouldn't have watched and then even worse things and worse things and it just goes further and further That's so true if someone ran into this room right now and said um uh, come with me we've got to have a meeting it's really important and you knew them you'd go okay you go to the meeting mm -hmm. but if they then said come with me and they started running and they're like where are we going we don't know <laughs> let's just go <laughs> yeah. and it might not be it might be haram but come with me and you're like okay then you, you go you you'd exactly. never do that you, in the physical world you'd never do that and i think as well when you're on social media and you're following people be mindful who you're following mm. the person you're following are they promoting something that's good are they promoting something that's with the Quran, that's as Islamic, you know? Or are you following someone that's the opposite of that? Are you following like a rapper who, you know, isn't even Muslim and doesn't believe? And are they promoting things on their Instagram that you might think are kind of cool and oh, it's harmless, you know, it is harmless, but you're actually, you're following that person to follow someone is a big thing. Do you know what? If you look at who you're following, mm. it'll tell you what you are right now not who you are mm. because because every human beings have fitra we have a natural inclination to 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 want to be good mm. nobody wakes up in the morning and goes i'm going to be a super villain today <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to be mean to everybody that i meet yeah i'm going to steal and lie that just never happened of course. right of course but we can get sucked into that behavior yeah so who have a look right now maybe after this video just go who are the people on, and if if they walked into my house yeah. would my mom like them yeah. would, would i like them to be friends with my sister or yeah. would i go toxic person yeah 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 you yeah, know yeah. don't you think and also i think th th there's an issue with we we might follow somebody because they do a certain fashion thing mm -hmm. and i you know i'm not really into fashion you may yeah. notice this is fine uh, somebody like uh, let's do eyelashes but then then the rest of their life is something really unhealthy and they seem mm. really unhappy and so, so do you want to be taking any tips from them? Mm. No, I understand. And it's actually very, very common, especially in our ummah, right. for people to follow, you know, these kind of people. And it's something I easily could have fallen into as well, being a young girl. And, you know, we're still, even though we're Muslim, we're still living in this world with materialism that's kind of always trying to draw us in. And even though, you know, we cover up, we still have to face every day of people saying, if you want to be accepted, you have to be beautiful. We're still facing these kind of things every single day. It's good to upload positive content, mm -hmm. but make sure the stuff you're uploading, you're not measuring your worth on it. Because right. we can sort of see, there's a social currency that's being thrown around now, and that's likes, that's views, there's all these kind of things. And it doesn't necessarily mean just because someone's got more likes, they're better. A lot of just by piety. So, so welcome T to the channel. So I think I just want to discuss notifications really quickly. Mm -hmm. Because the thing with notifications is, they often take us away from something we're supposed to be doing, mm. whether it's Instagram. There's, there's so many apps we have now, like Facebook and even YouTube from sometimes in these like notifications. Okay. And don't even turn notifications on for my channel. Like don't turn on notifications. Because mm. the thing is, notification, they can take you away from anything. If you're reading Quran, a notification could come. You could be praying a notification. So could when come. we say press the bell icon below, that's another irritation to people. I mean, I guess it could be. Sorry to everybody who have been saying, press the bell icon below. I, <laughs> I mean, know. we all make mistakes all the time. I, mean, I won't be saying it every time. <laughs> I honestly think that only have notifications are really important things. Azan times, fine. Perfect. Amazing. Have notifications for that. Some really close family members, yes. But even friends, I wouldn't recommend turning on notifications. I didn't even know you... Are you saying, I mean, notifications as in calls or just on social media or everywhere? Calls, I guess the form of notifications, it's a bit different because calls are more emergency. I mean like messages. messages. So even when it comes to like Instagram messages, a lot of people have notifications for this. I mean, I've personally never turned them on, but you can get notifications for like Instagram messages, Facebook messages, sure, sure. just so many apps. And the thing about notifications mm -hmm. is once you hear that bell, you all, you're going to be thinking, what was that? What was that? You could be reading an amazing book and you're going to come away from it because you're going to be like, what was that notification? So Bismillah Rahman Rahim. <clears throat> All of our pious predecessors, the learned ones, mm -hmm. the scholars, the people of study, they were people who 
studied and looked at one thing at one time. If they, mm. You can't imagine a great ustada, a great sheikh or a great sheikh, all right, in a class and go, bing, sorry, hang on a second. <laughs> now, an average person, you, you can do that, yeah. right? Um, but it's clearly bad adab and it's broken the chain of whatever's mm. going on. You know, we have to relearn mm. being in the moment. Yeah, I mean, so for example, my phone did go earlier, but it was my daughter. And if, if, if kids <laughs> ring twice, of course, it's, it's the important. law, of right? Course. Okay. Now what you've noticed is I've had it on airplane mode. Oh, you wouldn't, you wouldn't yeah. dream mm. of having the pings going. So I, I personally, I don't have notifications for anything. Yeah, yeah because that exact reason. Mm -hmm. I think we, we all know people, or maybe we've been the person, who, when the phone goes ping, they dash, where's my phone, where's my phone? And yeah, it's not yeah. even, it's not like they've got somebody ill in hospital. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just like, oh my God, someone else wants me. Yeah, yeah. And again, don't you think it's insecurity? Don't you think it's a neediness oh, to be validated, definitely. to be valued, rather than, you know, it can be an interesting moment we're in. Yeah. It can be a dull moment. It can be a mundane thing at work. Yeah. But the interaction face to face yeah. trumps the phone. Yeah, definitely. And we all really need to relearn that. Mm. I, I have no notifications at all, mm -hmm. and I will not be. Ju <laughs> <laughs> no! 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 Okay. Okay. Hang on a second. It's a hadith. Thank God. It was a hadith. I will lie, I swear, it was a hadith. Look. That is so funny. Allah Akbar. Okay, I didn't even know I had that. That's a hadith came up. Mashallah. All right, so it's hadith. <laughs> so oh, See, Allah, 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 Allah Akbar. Allah. Allah. I'd, be, I'd be much worse in a much worse state. <laughs> if that hadn't been a hadith, I was like, thank God. But yeah, even I Even those same, things, yeah. are they helpful, really? <laughs> now, here's the risk. So here's the risk, sis, about mm. things that are to do with the deen. Mm. If we have notifications like that, mm -hmm. and we find ourselves going, oh, we're busy, hadith. Yeah, 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 you're going to, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, I completely agree. Are we, You know, what are we doing yeah. to the respect that we should have for the Prophet, peace be upon him? Yeah. I think that was meant to happen, mm -hmm. and we're meant to reevaluate about how many times, you know, in a day do we go, mm, hadith, sunnah, hadith, sunnah, mm -hmm. astaghfirullah. Yeah. Oh, dog video, astaghfirullah. <laughs> astaghfirullah. Yeah, what are we yeah. stopping for? Yeah. It creates an atmosphere of anxiety. Oh, when yeah, we're definitely. talking about a mental health illness boom, mm. um, it's because we can't focus on, on anything. We can't buy ourselves that, that headspace. Forget buying time. Time yeah. is elusive. It comes and it goes. Yeah. And, and you should, we should all be using it uh, well. But to have things constantly break in, I think, mm. I think there was a study done where, where on, on average in an hour, we're interrupted over a hundred times. Wow. So, so you know, we're, we're looking at people younger having strokes. We're looking at people having heart attacks younger. That used to just be road rage. Now, uh, yes. you know, hundred percent, it's going to be those constant mm. pains and anxiety. <gasps> we don't need to live in that. Yeah. Like I, I, my husband and I, um, we get we get them out of the room now. We don't sleep with them in the room. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, sleeping and what we look at first. Yes, in, in the, the morning. What's yeah. the first thing you see in the morning? For years, it was it was uh, the phone. Yeah. yeah, and that's very normal nowadays. It's yeah. very normal. Yeah. Doesn't mean it's good, but it's very normal. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, no phone in the bedroom. Definitely, because when you're waking up for fajr with that good intention, yeah, you want to remain that. So we do have a rule on the line. I think it's a really good rule. Everyone should take in no phone to do after fajr. Okay. I think it's a good rule. I think it's a very basic rule. I think it's yeah. essential. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. You get up, you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first, mm. when all that's done, then you can start checking dunya. Yeah. And why we check, you know, if, here's the other thing, by the way, everybody, you know, subhanAllah, you guys have grown up, you're probably a lot younger than me, and it's part of your working life, it's part of your student life, mm. the phone, it's part of your, your, your breath, the breath yeah. you, you know, you take in. But there was a time when we didn't need it. You can push these things back. Mm. The biggest trick that's been played on the workforce which is all of us, because we all do some kind of productivity in yeah. return for money, right? Is this, people, do you remember, just 20 years ago, people would do nine to five, mm. and then they'd get the train home, and then they'd have the night off. You, you, you're looking like, really, night off? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, maybe it was 30 years ago before <laughs> you were born, right? And then these phones and computers came off, and then what happens is the person gets on the train at seven and they're working. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And they get to the office at nine and then they do their work. Yeah. And then they get trained six to seven and they and do another work. hour's work. 
That's not so normal. So that's three hours extra work, 15 hours yeah. extra work a, a week that yeah. you're not paid for. Mm, interesting. Do not, we do not need to be working all mm. the time. The prophet, peace be upon him, had a time for community, yeah. time for charity, time for home, time for, for political and state life, time for rest. Mm -hmm. And you and don't let it be a constant bleed. Mm. Allah sees everything. Whether it's on your phone, whether it's everything Allah sees. We often forget when we're using technology, when we're messaging that girl or that boy, or when we're looking on something we shouldn't be looking on. Allah sees everything. I don't think people forget that. I think we deliberately switch it off. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Th I don't think it's it's that we're so mem mesmerized. I think we we have to take responsibility. Yeah. I think. I think it's it, it's both be aware of what we're watching. Yeah. And take responsibility for it. Yeah. You know, and make toba for it because if you don't take responsibility for it, you mm -hmm. can't say I'm sorry, Allah. That was really a, a poor thing. A poor thing that I've been watching. I'm, I'm going to stop. Please help me to stop. And and you know the thing is when you make toba, mm. you have to say, and I'm never going to do it again in yeah. my life. Yeah. Not I'd like not to do it, and then slip with the intention of you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got to say, I never want to do that again in my life. There's the, you know we all have those things, mm. and and do that, but be intentional about it. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Don't sort of have a half heart when you're making toba, otherwise you're not really making toba. Mm -hmm. You have to be a hundred percent. Like I'm so sorry. I'm never going to do this again. If you fall into it again, you know. And also, we live in the generation of trolls. You, you guys already probably know this word. Uh, trolls are people on the internet that pretty much comment on your stuff, saying, like, that's bad, or go to hell. There's all these kind of things. People are so cruel. It's really awful. And we often feel like we can say what we want behind a keyboard. And we have to remind ourselves, like, one, the most important thing, is it something we're allowed to say in Islam? Are we doing something that... Is against our deen that is showing bad character? Are we backbiting? There's so many different things we could be doing. And secondly, would you say it to their face? Yeah, I think those aren't bad barometers. I think we could actually, inshallah, go as believers further. Yeah. Don't say if if you're if we're moved to say something nasty mm. underneath what somebody's done, should have should we have been watching it in the first place? Mm. What are we doing there? That's so true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What well, uh, um, if it's a Muslim? And it's a genuine critique that's going to save them from the fire mm. or something you really have a concern about private message yeah yeah definitely. you know do it do it do it do it um you know personally yeah uh, you don't make you, you, um, humiliation public yeah yeah of course it's, you're not supposed to humiliate people publicly yeah. name is uh you know having a clean name is a big thing in our being otherwise why would it be haram to backbite on someone all of these brothers and sisters should be if we're honest with ourselves, making us go, hmm, yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Everything we say is to ourselves first and mm -hmm. to you guys second. Like, we are not perfect. We struggle with these things mm -hmm. constantly. And through these conversations, we're learning just as much as anyone else. I mean, I mean. So best of all is this, right? Get the main apps off your phone. I say if you're studying languages, do it on your laptop and make time for it. Interesting. Don't be on the phone. I My, my hand goes fuzzy, fizzy pins and needles if I hold my phone too much. Mm. Now, my daughter's going to say, I'm a scientist <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with holding your phones. I don't want that in my in my hand all the time. Don't use it when it's plugged in. Have it in another room. Mm. Go out and, and see the world. Go out and do something good for somebody else. Yeah, definitely. You know, what, one day, tie, let's time ourselves and say, right, I normally would have doom scrolled for I know that would have been 30 minutes. I've got an hour and a half tomorrow. Right, from not doom scrolling, I'm going to join X, Y, and Z. Mm. I'm going to find a feeding program. I'm going to go and visit somebody who needs a visit. Yeah. Imagine what we can do with that time. Mm. Life. Yeah, definitely. Goodness, inshallah. That's like the ultimate goal, right? Yes. That's like the ultimate goal. And I think there's a couple of steps that some people might have to take, some people who are struggling a bit more than others. Oh, you know. don't be so no. woolly. No. <laughs> don't be so woolly. Get on with it. Put the phone down and go outside. <laughs> Seriously, there are a couple of steps. Just to be gentle. Yeah. Now I'm not buying it. No. Do I it. wish it was that easy. I really do. So many people are struggling with this. Seriously. Allah make it easy. Yeah, Allah make it easy. It is addictive. No, it's addictive. Definitely. It's, they've made it like like the crack of this generation. Mm. Yeah. And you pay for it as well. <laughs> What's wrong with this? I think moving onto our laptops is a really positive thing because um, our phones we take everywhere. Our laptops we don't. Maybe you do, but we don't. And um, so when I try and watch YouTube, I use a laptop because then I'm not just randomly scrolling. I'll be mm. like, okay, 
I'm gonna watch a lecture, I'm gonna go on Mufti Mank on Imran Khan, whoever I decide to watch, okay. I'm gonna put that on, you know, make that decision, make that intention um, before you use it. And I think even with Instagram, I personally would recommend deleting it from your phone. Um, I know some people that's a really fast step for them. So turn off the notifications. If you if you decide to keep it, turn off the notifications. Unfollow the people that are really negative. They're the main things. If you're able to delete it, delete it. And as someone who's a creator, I upload it to upload. I mean, I um, I download it to upload and then I delete it straight away. It's the best you way to do it. You download it to upload. Oh, you down so you download the app to upload, to upload the, the video, video and then get rid of it yes. so you're not drawn in. Yes. yes. And that's uh, that's honestly. That's a great tip because that's how a lot of content creators I know actually use Instagram. So yeah. you're watching them on Instagram, they're not watching you. <laughs> yes. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Subhanallah. So so take the good from it and then and then get out of it. I've, mm. I've deleted it again. Um, I, I and you'll you'll see me on Instagram. And be like, oh, she must be on it all the time. No, not yeah. anymore. Yeah, it's a secret. Yeah. <laughs> These are trade secrets, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you're gonna pick up your phone and use it, know what you're using it for first. I think that's the best part of picking mm -hmm. up. Don't just pick it up and just figure out as you go along. Think, okay, right, I need to pick up my phone because I need to check Google Maps. Does right. anybody else find themselves doing a round of messages? Here's the here's the downside mm -hmm. that I haven't quite figured out. If you turn off all your notifications, you end up don't you end up checking more if you've got messages? Um, it depends. It depends if you're seeking for something. If you're seeking something, then you do. Say, for example, like you're seeking, maybe you're like, has my mom messaged me today or something? And you might. But if you're busy, then do you, you do don't... aimless checking of WhatsApp or something? It just depends to see what messages how are. busy I am in the day. Mm. And it depends if I need something. Like if I'm literally looking for my mom's message me, I might. Mm. But apart from that, you don't think about it. So many groups, so many groups. What do I do? Oh, the groups are just. They just groups. I, I don't. I don't I don't think, I just, I've never had anything good from the groups, to be honest. Be honest with people, if you, you know, say like, look, I'm turning my notifications off. If you need me, call me. I literally have that in my WhatsApp bio. It's like, if you need me, call me. Okay. Because I, I'm not going to okay. get your text. That is <laughs> the money right there. If, like, not, if I get 40 calls tonight, yes. I'm calling you. Everyone's going to call you. <laughs> yeah. Can you find me a wife? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> this is what happens oh, gosh. on a daily basis. Yeah. Okay, alhamdulillah. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. See you guys again very soon. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. I thought we were done. I'm having my tea. <laughs> I was like, we can do that. Alhamdulillah.